Hi, we're Asteria, and we're sitting here in front of a 16th century chateau in barzy sur marne uh, which is about an hour and a half from Paris, and it's right in the middle of the Champagne district. And uh, we're staying here with a friend, Alan Masick, and he's the chatelain, meaning he's the owner of this chateau. And uh, we're surrounded by vineyards, uh, and really as far as the eye can go, um, there are Champagne grapes. And we're also looking over here uh, to our left, and we'll show you some images in a little bit of a 12th century church. And uh, since we are in Champagne, we've had a, a crash course in uh, high, high living. Uh, every meal begins with Champagne, and we enjoy our meals in courses. Each, uh, each dish is served separately with a small pause in between, and it gives us time to really appreciate the cuisine here and also to appreciate the marvelous people that we have met. So we're going to show you a little bit more of the grounds of the chateau and then we're going to go off to Paris for the first installment of our research. We've got to make our way into the Bibliothèque Nationale, which is the largest and uh, most rich archive of uh, medieval documents in France. And we're going to try and uh, be able to see the Cordiform manuscript. This is uh, the manuscript that appears on the cover of our first album. So let's get started. Let's take a look inside the town church, the beautiful 13th century chapel at the corner of the property. Look at the quality of the light. How glorious it is as it bounces off the yellow stone. This chapel was actually caught in the crossfire in 1918. The Germans occupied the chateau and fired against the French. Speaking of the French, there's a beautiful statue of Jean d'Arc, a personal favorite in this area and a favorite of mine. And we spent quite some time trying to figure out who this is. We were sure it was St. Barbara because of her book, but where is her tower? Maybe we'll find out in Paris. Tune in to our next episode of the Osteria podcast when we visit the Bibliothèque Nationale. Don't forget to go to asteriamusica.com for new sound samples and new information on Asteria's sabbatical in France.